All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah Korash, the bondage to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. So he takes it to Allah, I can push his word, true charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the son's name of the word and he calls Jesus. And Rechah Korash is the Holy Spirit. And as always, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You are the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered too. You are Israelites, no matter what your appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm the brother Yadaya from the Great Stone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm begging for another lesson. It's going to be entitled, This Man is the Devil. And um, as you see what's been happening in the world as of lately, a, a, you know, I was sitting here meditating, how do people not see it? You see, as you see in a picture, it says control the weather and then uh, control that land, Agenda 2030. But um, it, 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 this, um, what is it, the scripture, this Job chapter 9 and verse 24, because the self proclaimed, the self proclaimed white man, he is the Edomite of the Bible. And as it says in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. They are the wicked that's ruling this planet Earth. You see, and they have the power given to them of the Lord to control the weather, to control the land, these different uh, events that's happening. Ultimately, it's the will of the Father, but they do have that power. And what are they doing with it? Destroying people, destroying uh, nations, destroying lands. You see, the scriptures tell you, uh, the thief, John 10 and 10, it says the thief, it's like the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And is that not what the sober clean white man is doing in the earth and has done? It says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it abundantly. And he's doing everything that's against life. Now he's trying to force over this um digital new age, which ultimately he can get his agenda, you know, his ultimate agenda, Revelation, the 13th chapter. You see, but this is that wicked that's ruling the earth, and every day his wickedness is um brought to light via the uh, power of the prophets, man. You see, so a hey, nobody has excuse. Uh, Job nine and twenty four, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judge thereof. If not, where who is he? And who if the white man, the so called white man, because he's the Edomite. If he's not the devil, <laughs> the deceiver, the slanderer, who is? Who's doing all these devilish things in the earth? Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except their common and falling away first. Speaking about the second return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. You see, he wouldn't come back until the prophecies were fulfilled, uh, which apart was the Israelites losing uh, the knowledge of who they were, right? Which we awake up as prophesied in the land of our captivities. But also it says, and that man of sin, the son of, so like that man of sin be revealed. And who is the man of sin? It says the son of perdition, the sober called white man. You see, it says who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God. And that's what he's doing. He told you that he can, he can make creation better than God. He can, he has higher ways than God. Uh, the GMO food is better than what God has. And also what the Lord set up isn't perfect. You see, you go in Genesis, the first chapter, it says the power saw that everything was good, roughly paraphrasing. But he's the, he's the one that's ruling the people, destroying the people and telling them otherwise. It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. You see, so this is this is the man <laughs> and is evident. It says, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what with withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. You see? So it was going to come a set time in which the devil, the bad guy of the Bible, which is the wicked, which is according to Malachi, the first chapter, Esau, Edom. It's going to come a time that who he truly is was going to be brought to light, and that's what you see via the preaching of this word. All right? It, 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 and just look at the, the disarray that's in the earth right now. Who's caused this? You see? It says, verse um, 27, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. When Apostle Paul is writing this, who's in power? The Romans. 
And we're in the second half of the Roman Empire today. And the same people are ruling, the Edomites. It says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And so the Heavenly Father ultimately gave him a set measure. And the Lord is allowing him to be uh, exposed. And then the judgment is going to come. All right. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume the spirit of his mouth. And according to Hosea uh, 12 and 10, and tell you that the Lord speaks through the, um, to the people through the ministry of the prophets. So this man is being exposed in real time via the prophets sent down here in the latter day. It says, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And ultimately, when Yahweh shall return, he's coming back with uh, a legions of chariots, a lot. To you in the book of Jude, that Enoch prophesied. Of the Lord coming back with ten thousands of his saints, roughly paraphrasing. It says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming the chariots, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So the sober clean white man is 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 ruling in the power of Satan. You see? Doing his will here on the planet Earth. And while all you people are, are either distracted with, with, with folly or or whatever you're distracted by, this is the man. And it's evident. You see? Uh, some mainly that inspired this is what you've been seeing in um these hurricanes and so forth. You got people on the ground saying that what they experienced was like nothing before. I think it was a dude over in her, uh, Florida or something. Yeah, I believe some people said the same thing down there. Uh, I think it was North Carolina, South Carolina, or wherever those uh, other ones that slid me at the moment. You know, and then even a, a woman, an older woman approached me yesterday and she told me, she said, um, yeah, when the government tell you one thing, you, you basically got to do the the, the, net, the other thing, the opposite of what they say. And she was buying food burners, you know, they put underneath the little grills and stuff to keep food heated up. In the midst of, you know, her showing me what she needed and telling me what she needed, she had said uh, what was happening with these hurricanes is um not normal. Like it's man-made. She literally said this, you know. So hey, this man is the devil, and and a lot, and a, and it's, he's being exposed as, as as you see. This Revelation chapter six and verse four, and there went out another horse that was red. This horse that was red represents Esau, Edom. The horse represents uh, power, and you go in Genesis the twenty fifth chapter, it tell you that that horse, so like that um, Esau, Edom, he came out red. So this is. Speaking about the self-proclaimed white man. And there went out another horse that was red. And these people are red. They're not white. It says, And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. And that they shall kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. You see, and this man's blessing was the sword. And he's using it. Whether it be the monetary, the, the pen legislation, or this shit that you see happening in the earth. You see? So this is that bad guy. Revelation 12 and verse 12, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and for the sea. For the devil is come down upon you having great wrath because he know that he have but a short time. And a lot of this stuff that you see in is all Esau, Edom trying to scramble to accomplish his so-called NWO, which he won't fully accomplish. But in doing so, he's coming down with that great wrath and, and, and more and more to that perfect day. You see, so a hey, Lord Williams is a quick edifying lesson. And hey, this man is the devil. Lord Williams edifying. Call her lame la. Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai Bahasham. Racha Kurash. The bonus to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. So he takes to all the hiking, puts his word. True said to with charity. Shalom, brother. Thumb, while quam, that's running a baba ball.